Hello and welcome to this edition of Minstrels on the Block. Today we have all of them. The Well Fellers are the special guests this week. A record we've never had three guests on before, but this is a fantastic band and it is my great pleasure to be able to interview them. Travis Mackey? I wish it grows your hands, but you're mm -hmm. too far away. <laughs> so tell me, where were you born? I was born in Jefferson County, Alabama, and have been here ever since. So, Cool. Mm -hmm. Daniel Schaefer? Born in Katy, Texas. Moved here when I was about three years old. Cool. Lucas, Lucas Flores. Dallas, Georgia. Moved Dallas. here when I was about two. So now, you guys are one of the best bands I've seen. You guys are awesome. You're smooth. You. There's nothing nothing pretentious or over overbearing about it. I've seen some bands that got quite a following that, that were a little over the top. Uh, I'd like to get some of your experience, like... Uh, did you come from a musical background, uh, starting with Travis? Well, the only r person in my family that does music is my uncle, but I haven't seen him since I was 10, so there's no real full you know, musical influence there. But whenever I was about 14, I started going to Ladonia Baptist Church, mm -hmm. and from there, the uh, music minister there and the youth pastor there just took, took us off, and we just rocketed, you know, skyrocketed. It was amazing. But, so now, when I met you... Um, at a certain place, we, uh, you, you were playing with your church, mm -hmm. and is it like up until that point, had you just played with the church, or had you done other things? The the only other things that I had done was the middle school and high school band mm -hmm. at Russell County, but that was absolutely it. It's, it was all strictly as far as um, my electric guitar mm -hmm. or acoustic guitar was all straight with the praise band at church. Cool, mm -hmm. fantastic guitar player, yeah. Daniel. Um, well, I grew up in a musical family. My father and mother sing, play music uh, at church. My oldest brother plays. My younger brothers played in band. I grew up playing in band at my high school. Um, and then just started songwriting about my senior year in high school and just pushing and pushing at that. Nice. And I've noticed, like, and you've been on the show before, but um, I'd like to recap the fact that we have the themes at the open mic at Fountain City. And it's like every week you show up with a, this epic song, I mean, just awesome stuff that you had written, like, just for the, the theme. Is that how it went, or did you already have them written? No, uh, I did better with the pressure. A lot of times, um, I would, if I had a deadline, then I could complete it. If, yeah. I, if I knew that this was the time I had to finish it, I couldn't work on any more past this time, then it was a lot easier to say, okay, now it's finished, instead cool. of just needing to improve and improve. And good stuff. Not, not thrown together in the slightest. Now, Lucas. Uh, my dad played trumpet. My oldest brother is a fantastic pianist. Uh, but I didn't actually pick up music until I worked at McDonald's and put my first two paychecks into a drum set and then started playing drums at Ladonia with TJ. Awesome. So you two were kind of bandmates before. Yeah. Right. Awesome. And only very recently have I ever seen a cajon. And it's a box. That sounds like drums. I mean, it, it's really cool. That's, that is a, a neat instrument to play. I, I've been very impressed at, at, the, the, at its existence, but also <laughs> at your skill at playing it. That's, well, that's thank you. It's, it's just a box with snares in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, going into a little bit of your history, since we're going down the line here, back to Travis again. <laughs> um, what, what did your parents do? Uh, what kind of, you know, um, life experience? Well, like uh, as in their jobs? Yeah, jobs. Okay. Yeah. Well, my dad is a maintenance supervisor for all the Wendy's in Columbus, Phoenix City, and Auburn. Mm. All right. And my mother, she was working with him uh, for several years, and but now she just stays at home, and he, he does everything. I worked with him for two years, mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, you know, I, I loved him to death, and, you know, wouldn't be where I, where I am today if it wasn't for them. Cool. So now, have they encouraged your music? Of course, most definitely. Um, they saw that I took a passion for guitar, and for my graduation present, I got actually the guitar you'll be seeing me play today. Cool. Mm -hmm. Daniel. Um, see, my mother works for a law firm in Phoenix City. My father's a um, supervisor at um, Panasonic Battery in Columbus. Um, they're both singers, and so they always encouraged me to sing, even when I was a really... Uh, really kind of nervous little kid yeah. that uh, just didn't want to talk, much less sing, and they always encouraged me to be musical. 
Now, what on, on what level do they sing? Um, do I mean, you said they sing. Are they like? Do they sing publicly or? Oh, they sing lead worship at church. Lead worship mm -hmm. at church. And my father writes and things like that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, did, has your father like published anything? Or? I don't think he's been published. Maybe when he was uh, younger, because he was in a band when he was uh, in the twenties. Yeah. Cool. Uh, my granddad owns a business in Columbus, and my mom and dad and most of my extended family all work there. And so that's what what they did. Now, have you been encouraged in your in your musical stuff? Yeah. In uh, drums are really loud, so they let me put them in the shed. <laughs> I ask these questions because you know sometimes the, the, there are musicians whose parents like really nurture them, you know, and really encourage them to play. Other times it's kind of the opposite. Sometimes the, their parents are, are not really open-minded about, about their music. So, inspirations. What, back to Travis again, what inspires you to play? What inspires you to write? Um, just any and all different kinds of music. Um, I, growing up, my parents let me listen to Johnny Cash, Stevie Ray Vaughan, um, Eric Mongrain. I mean, they're just a very wide variety of music, and just every little bit of it goes into what I play. All right. Now, you've, you've written some songs, too. I have. Um, most of my songs are just strictly instrumental, just me on the guitar. So. And the inspiration for those, uh, is that from the players you've heard, or do you have, like, a feeling that you're trying to get out there? Well, I mean, obviously there's a feeling. But. Right. Well, first, um, a lot of the inspiration for that does come from one acoustic guitar player that I've seen on YouTube. His name is Eric Mongrain, mm -hmm. and he just plays a different style of guitar that I've ever seen. And so from watching him, and then, of course, you know, me picking up and trying to do my own version, mm -hmm. um, all of my music that I have, that I've written myself, is more uplifting, trying to really, you know, mm -hmm. give everybody a positive mood. So Cool. Yeah. Daniel? Um, it's pretty much become uh, an obsession to create, to, um, to be able to express things that are already in my head and just be able to get them out. Yeah. Um, and just these things that, um, these musical ideas and uh, lyrical ideas that just come into my head, um, just to get them down, get them finished, and uh, just to see how it plays out. It's yeah. just a lot of fun. Do you have like a specific artist that you just like idolize? Is there like one guy? I know for me it's John Stewart from the Kingston Trio, not the Top Toes. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. I I know a lot of people say that, but it's just well, I mean, Bob Dylan was a very influential person. He was yeah. man was a genius. So. I, I mean, think if you're going to idolize somebody, let it be a genius. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Lucas. Uh, for me, I started playing later than most people do, and so I've always been playing with people that are better at their instruments than I am at mine, so I'm just trying to catch up. Oh. <laughs> and there's your inspiration. <laughs> but now, now you, you started because you like music. Yeah. So what, like, what artists do you really like, and what, you know, what uh, inspires you to continue? Let's see. Well, that's a hard question. Um, I always loved the way it looked when people played drums, the fills and everything. And so I was like, I want to try that. And so when I bought my drum set, I started trying out that. And so it was just an, a large range of musicians. If I had to name one, it, uh, Jose Pasillas from Incubus or the drummer for Dave Matthews Bands. They're cool. both amazing. And so I'm just trying, I try to emulate. Ah, now, I, I have never been a drummer, but recently I got a drum pad for my studio. Mm -hmm. Luminous. Now I have a, a drum pad. You can play like drums instead of the little loop that's been and everything. But uh, so I've been kind of tinkering around with drums myself, mm -hmm. even though it's not a full drum kit. It it, it, it sounds like it, and uh, I totally understand. Uh, I try to emulate John Phillips, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I totally that that's drums are a lot more than I ever thought before. I actually started trying to do something with them myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just. There's a, there's a lot. The fills you talked about, there's definitely an art to it. Yeah. And so um, we're going to go to one of the Wellfeller songs, and we'll be right back after these messages. This is Past Then by the Wellfellers.
and boss man called me in told me to vacate I got nothing to do now but sit around and wait cause life's been a hard rain and my love's won't pass then since the boss man called me in And now my money's spent It didn't mean what was due They say a man's gotta eat But that ain't always true Cause life's been a hard rain And my luck's won't pass in Since a boss man called me in I got a woman like sunlight I wanna give her the sky Her smile is the morning My soul the night Oh what I wouldn't give her To show her my love The depth of the ocean It wouldn't be enough But life's been a hard rain And my luck's won past then Since the boss man called me in So I guess I'll wander And leave the dead to keep still Find the land of plenty And eat my fill But life's been a hard rain And my luck's won't pass since Since the boss man called me in